ebook is available to you from Camden Libraries and it's called How to Watch the Olympics by David Goldblatt and Johnny Acton. And for today's craft, we're going to use some recyclables and reuse some old materials. First of all, we're going to use a bottle, some sticks and some pink paint. And because the Olympics were in Japan this year, we're going to make a beautiful cherry blossom tree. So here I'm going to use the bottom of the bottle and do some stamping, just like this. And then any twigs or branches that you may have outside, you just place on top of your beautiful cherry blossoms and then just sticky tape them down on top and there you have a cherry blossom tree. And here we have all the materials we're going to use. I've got some old cards to use for my torch or you could use some orange or red paper that you have at home. A nice roll and some jar lids for my medals. Ribbons or you could use string. And your equipment is glue, scissors and sticky tape. And so here we're going to make our torch with cardboard and cupcake holders. And we've got some orange paper. And you just do some triangle shapes. But you can do them all different sizes. And here I've cut them out and they're going to be the flame. So once you've popped them into the cupcake holder, just pop some glue and you can see that I've painted my torch silver or you could wrap some alfoil around it. And now for the medals, we've got three. We've got gold and that's going to be for our first winner. And then we've got silver for our second place and then third place we have bronze. So you can paint those lids and that's one, two and three. Then grab your ribbons and just sticky tape it on the back for your medal. There we have our torch and our medals. Next, we're going to make the Olympic rings. Now for this craft, you're going to need five paper plates, some paint, that's one, two, three, four, and five. Once you have your five paper plates, you need to paint around the edges. So first of all in green, so just around the edges, not all over the plate because that's going to be our ring. So just paint it on all around the edge for all our colours. There we go, just around the edge. Good. And the colours are green, red, black, blue and yellow. When your paint's dry, you cut out the ring. So one snip and then cutting around the circle on the inside. You do that for all your paper plates. And then when you have a little slit, you can place the rings in the right order, like I have here, and just make sure they're all sitting right and glue them into place. So just pop a little bit of glue on the back. Here we go, just enough to join them up. And there we have our Olympic rings. And then you're all set for the Olympic Games in Japan.